Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is annotation? Is it only available in control flow pan or available in other pans as well? So let's go to the SSDT or bids and take a look what is annotation and how it works. So annotation is the way to write our comments for the documentation of SSIS package. Uh, when we write C sharp code, Java code or any, any other uh, code in different languages, we write the comments uh, that will help us uh, later to see what exactly this code is doing. So th that's the same way in SSIS package we can write the annotation uh, and uh, that will help us uh, uh, define what exactly package is doing. We can write uh, at different uh, points uh, those annotations uh, and write our business logics. Uh, so next time when you open the package you can see what exactly this package is doing or if new developer uh, join the company and he's working on the package he can see what are different uh, functionality these each tasks are performing and you have the comments uh, right in front of them that will be helpful. Now how you write the uh, these comments or annotation uh, you can be in any pen you can be in control flow data flow or event handler and uh, you can write the annotation uh, right you have to uh, let me bring couple of uh, tasks here and I'm gonna tell you some limitations or uh, what kind of problems we face uh, with annotation so right now let me bring all of those tasks four of them and connect them in sequence now what I want to do I want to write a purpose of this package what it is exactly it is doing as a comments and then I might write some comments for each of the tasks what it is doing so I have to right click here in the control flow and then go to the add annotation and that's how I can start writing this so first of all let me write this purpose this is test purpose package now when you enter it comes to the next line and if you keep entering it it will be keep uh, coming to the next line so that's how it works and uh, I'm gonna tell you the limitations here if you are using SSIS 2012 and 14 that's how it is going to work you hit enter it will go to next line if you're using old versions such as SSIS 2005 or 2008 by hitting enter it's not going to go to the next line so you have to press alt and then hit enter that's how it work in old versions so let's go to the next uh, line and uh, put another um, not line but just put another annotation by clicking it here um, let me write it execute SQL task runs the store procedure for us let me move on this side so what is happening even I'm here I'm, I I can't really see that so I have to move this window on this side right now runs the store procedure for us and then we hit enter right now if you see that um, while I was writing it it was not letting me do it I can uh, I was not able to go on the right but uh, once I enter it uh, I can see the entire uh, comments or annotation now let's go to the next one and uh, add uh, one of that add annotation these two tasks are just for test purpose so these, these are our uh, few of the annotations or comments we have put uh, here in the control flow let me go to data flow task here and I can show you how we can write the annotation as well here so you can right click here in the data flow pan and uh, say uh, add annotation that's how you will be writing this is test annotation it is for data flow task so that's how you can write it and uh, let me make it a little big so you can see that and the uh, same thing you can go to the event handler right click here and uh, add annotation that's how you can do it now once we write the annotation what happened we have different tasks and we want to uh, format or put them in some uh, diagram and what we do in um, most of the cases uh, I have uh, let me put another expression task here we have these different tasks what we do we select all all of them or we just uh, go to the format and then say auto layout and diagram <coughs> excuse me once we hit this diagram this is gonna mess up the entire thing so I hit uh, the diagram 
now the tasks i can see that they are in line or they made a uh, picture uh, or diagram and uh, that's how they, they are looking nice okay they are aligned with each other now where is my annotation so my annotation i, I had put uh, right next to the tasks here and now it is going all the way to the horizontal here and um, th that's how it's messed up so if you are putting annotation uh, think about that while uh, you are formatting them in a in a diagram or you are aligning them uh, all those tasks if you let's say go to format again and align and you say center or right or top or middle wherever you want to say let's say we will do uh, left so in this case if we do in left uh, annotation is uh, messed up right here so that's the problem so uh, be careful uh, with the annotation if you have put a lot of annotation and then uh, what you are doing you are uh, going and align aligning your uh, uh, task by using uh, uh, auto align uh, auto layout and diagram or align and center or right or middle or whatever then uh, the annotation is will be messed up and it will be really hard for you so you have to bring it back uh, one by one again uh, th this is not really helpful sometimes you have a, a lot of tasks and you want to just uh, you know select them and uh, uh, format them as a diagram and that, that that's easy way so you you can um, you know, take a look in the flow and uh, you don't have to drag and drop each of them but uh, this annotation uh, if you are using this will be a big problem in those cases uh, one more thing I would like to say about the annotation um, th this will not be logged in uh, when your SSIS package is running it this is not going to be lo logged in in any of the log uh, information such as if you are using a, uh, any log type let's say you are using a SQL server logging or a, a XML login or a, um, text file logging this information is not going to be in the, that log file so that's important um, that's it for uh, annotation uh, I, I write my comments uh, in the package you know and uh, I like that and uh, but the most of the time what I do if uh, the, this annotation is a problem for me and I want to um, lay out uh, these uh, tasks properly by using the format and uh, auto lay, uh, layout what I do instead of uh, using annotation I use uh, uh, the information on the task names so uh, here I, I use DFT underscore loading this table from uh, this source to this destination and that information will also go in your logging so that also ha is helpful instead of writing a lot of annotation uh, you might want to consider writing uh, the good names for your tasks and provide some description there thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video